This conference will now be recorded. Hello friends, welcome to DISPSolutions.com. My name is Sumit and here I am with a new video series in Python Machine Learning. And the topic for today's video is how to implement face recognition using OpenCV in Python. So face recognition is very useful nowadays and it's a very hot topic. You might have seen, you might have gained experience of face recognition while entering into an office or while uh, while creating your unique ID identification in India. So you, uh, they used to track your biometric, your faces, your eyes, and they used to read. And based on that, they would be going to identify whether you are the correct person or not. So first of all, let's try to understand what exactly face recognition is. And we'll have a look how to implement face recognition into Python using OpenCV. Going to use this face recognition. So basically, as you know, that every day now a lot of actions are increasingly being handled electronically instead of pencil and paper or face to face. A lot of people they are they used to navigate, they used to uh, give access or permissions to their bank cards or their ATM cards using their faces. Or many times you might have seen that uh, whenever you enter in an office, it used to read your face and it used to identify your face and uh, make sure that you are the authorized person. So if you are authorized, it will open the gate for you, else it will deny to open that gate. So basically face recognition, it helps to reduce the physical interaction on behalf of the user. It is accurate. It is very accurate because if people is, if a person is not available and without reading his face, uh, that particular service will not activate. Uh, recently the iPhone has introduced a new feature in their phone that they can the the people they can the phone will get only unlocked by reading the face so that's also an example of face recognition and uh, we can use it uh, it can be used it can be used you your existing hardware infrastructure existing cameras and image capture devices will work without any problem so you know you don't require any uh, very very big resources for that but if you have that would be good enough. Now let's have a look. What are the areas where we can use face recognition? So it can be used to control the access. It can be used to automate identity verification, uh, human identification to identify people. The, the, the police or the army people, they are using this function, this feature uh, on their date, uh, basically on regular basis to identify the criminals or even the nowadays the traffic police they also started using to recognize the people those who those who are not following the laws on while driving on road so it can be based, it can be also help in surveillance of a specific person and it is used to identity intelligence to understand intent so there are a lot of areas where face recognition is using nowadays. So that's why we decided to come up with some new videos, uh, new video series uh, to give you more knowledge, you more updates on face recognition. So first of all, to work on face recognition, you need to have a library that is called OpenCV. And that OpenCV you can download simple by going into, by typing a command, pip open cv, pip install open cv python. And when you enter this command, you can easily uh, install open cv in your environment. And you can see that open cv will create a directory in your lib site packages and open cv python so i have installed this open cv python successfully in my environment that's the open cv i was looking for 
and it creates a folder for me cv2 folder this cv2 folder that this file is required cv2 y cv2 dot pyt and it also install the required libraries and packages along with this cv2 so you can see we can find out the uh, hascat for i for front face for lower body for a profile face for smile we can also detect that who all are smiling in uh, in a in an image or we can also go for license plate we can also detect the we can also detect the license read the license plate and uh, we can find out its information through the uh, vehicle uh, information areas so the these are pre built xml packages we don't need to download them but if it is required we'll download it separately now let's have a look how we are going to detect the number of faces from uh, an image and for this i have downloaded a lot of images as you can see i have got around 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 images but i am going to read only in one image one by one for example you can see in this image or in this image or in this image i would like to find out the number of people and mark them with some gray circle gray square so first of all i'll create a new file for that so i'm going to start with a very small program very easy program that all of you so that all of you can easily understand it fine so first of all i would install uh, i would i would like to import a package called import cv2 then to display the images as a, on a map so i'm using import matplotlib.pyplot as plt and remember one thing that the open cv always works in on with along with numpy so it is mandatory that you that numpy package need to be installed in your environment so import numpy as np and i am creating a cascade face underscore cascade is equal to cv2 dot cascade classifier cascade classifier and i would be looking for a uh, front face default xml so let me get to data front face default xml this one uh front face default xml so it's already there so i'm just providing this path once again over here and i'm just adding that path data slash because i would be using this library front face default xml so i'll just write front face default dot xml file and uh, i'll just change this to forward slash so that we got the uh in some of the environment you won't require to provide the path but just for uh safe the issue safety measures i am just adding these i am just changing the location and safety we can test it whether it is working perfectly or not so i just run it and i'm just writing face 7.py and you can see uh, it says no object module object has okay so it might be some c a s k c cos k C A S C A D E classifier. So you can see no error. That was the spelling mistake. So classifier. Now first of all, I am going to load the image which we are going to use, and the image resides in. Let's suppose I would like to read I M G six. img1 is equal to cv2 read so this im read function this method 
uh, helps us to read the image and img6.jpg image6 dot jpg and uh, i would be changing this brackets and let me test it once again no error so it's working till now perfectly working fine i write image underscore copy is equal to np dot copy image one and i would be creating i would be converting this image into gray format cv2 dot cvt color image one comma cv2 dot color underscore b r b g r two gray So I would suggest you to test it at uh, specific points so that you will figure out the error. If there are any errors, you can sort out all the errors. Finally, my concern is to find to detect all the faces. So I, I create a new instance. Faces is equal to face underscore cascade. So that's why we created this variable face underscore cascade dot detect multi scale image one comma one point one zero comma six and I would be printing the number of faces found in an image comma length of faces and let me show the image first so i'm reading this image right now and there are one two three four five six images are there so if i read this program this should display there are total six images and you can see it displays total six images found so we found six number of images now my requirement is to mark those images with gray color so we we just continue with that for x comma y comma w comma h in faces cv2 dot King images now image one plus w comma y the coordinate w is width and h for height so that would be detected automatically and it would be marked with a color so two five five two five five zero so we mark with a color and that's the color uh, basically, that's the uh, line or the rectangle size. Gray is equal to gray, and I would be marking with y is to y plus h, comma x to x plus h that is for width x plus w width and height and underscore color we would be detecting it color so image one plus h Display the images because when I run it, dot img shame as img comma image uh, image show. Sorry, it should be I am show, not image show. I am show.
and k is equal to cv2 dot weight t 30 and That's a weight key, so it will wait for here. And you can see that's the original image. So let me show the original image. That's my original image. So there are six people, and here we can successfully able to mark all those six faces in this image. So we can try to change the image. Let me try to test another image. And I would like to detect the number of people in that's a very light image. Let's say image number uh, one. So that's Bill Gates. It's a very famous person. Everybody knows him. So I would like to check here. And simple, I rename it and bill.jpg. And uh, it's detecting some, it found one face, but so because the image resolution is pretty big. So let me look for some other image IMG1. And I'll check for IMG1.jpg. And let me test it. So I just changed the image and now I'm just testing this image IMG1. So there are three, three people. And when I run this code, when I run this code, you can see it successfully detect the number of faces in that image. So that's how we can create a small and very useful face recognition application using Python. So that's all in this video. If you have some queries, you can come up with your doubts. You can post your comments in comment box. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.